is the Antichrist from the tribe of Dan. Some Jews are actually looking for their false Messiah to be a son of Dan, not the son of David. In a recent blog post, prominent Israeli rabbi gave his opinion on the ancestry of the Messiah according to his Jewish sources. Unlike Christians who believe the Messiah was the son of David, this rabbi is looking for a son of Dan. Interestingly, many Christians, including many of the early church fathers, believe the Antichrist to be from the tribe of Dan, that he would then be a son of Dan, exactly what this rabbi is looking for in a Messiah. I mean, that's just frightening. Imagine the description. If you're looking for the traits of the Messiah, would actually be the traits of the Antichrist. Let's start this video with the reasons why some Christians expect the anti-Messiah or Antichrist to be from the Jewish tribe of Dan. First, in Revelation 7, 5 through 7, when discussing the 144,000 Jewish men who are saved after seeing Jesus coming on the clouds, there are no members of the tribe of Dan. None. Instead, the half-tribe of Manasseh are substituted. So why is the tribe of Dan missing from that number who are saved? It's not explained. In this previous video, however, we indicated that if you read the meaning of the tribe names in order, in the order that they're presented, it indicates a message, an end-time message. This is pretty incredible, and we certainly recommend you watch it. A link is down in the description. Second, at the other end of the Bible, in Genesis 49, 17, this is what Jacob said about his son Dan. Dan shall be a serpent in the way, a viper by the path that bites the horse's heels so that the rider falls backwards. That is not a very complimentary description uh, for a prophecy. Being called a serpent like Satan or biting the heels like Satan bit Jesus' heels prophetically. Also, it's just an evil sounding prophecy. Nothing positive about it. Now, in the Hebrew language, that particular type of serpent that's mentioned in this verse is a creates or a horned serpent, the color of sand, almost invisible to the eye and its bite is poisonous, a deadly deceiver hiding in the sand. I mean, again, this just sounds so evil. Samson is the most famous of those who came from the tribe of Dan, someone who was deceived himself by Delilah. Dan is also famous for establishing a pagan worship of a golden calf in their main city, 1 Kings 12, 25-33. However, None of this explicitly says the Antichrist is genetically from the tribe of Dan, nor even from the region of Dan. However, several of the early church fathers began espousing this idea. The first explicit mention of an Antichrist from Dan comes from the writings of Irenaeus in about 150 AD in Against Heresies 530.2, Irenaeus notes that that Antichrist will be a Danite, but that he will claim the Roman power. He also suggests he might have the name Titan, which happens to add up to 666 in Greek, Dramatia. So it's a fitting name, he says, for it contains a certain outward appearance of vengeance and of inflicting merited punishment because he pretends that he vindicates the oppressed uh, against Heresies 530.3. The oppressed here are probably the Jews. Somewhat surprisingly, Irenaeus gives only two scriptural passages to support the Antichrist Danite origin. One is Revelation 7, about the 144,000 that we mentioned above. The other is Jeremiah 8, 16 through 17. The snorting of their horses is heard from Dan. At the sound of the neighing of their stallions, the whole land quakes. They come and devour the land. All that fills it, for behold, I am sending among you serpents and adders that cannot be charmed, and they shall bite you. So this again references serpents and adders, snakes. Danites never invaded the rest of Israel. 
So this must be some kind of future prophecy. Now, the Jeremiah verse is also interesting because in context of the rest of the chapter, it speaks of false prophets. Another very early church father, Hippolytus from 200 AD, says the Jews will be deceived by this imposter and receive him as their Messiah because he will accomplish great things on their behalf. He will gather them back into the land, raise up their ruined temple, and restore their kingdom, at least temporarily. Hippolytus said, The deceiver seeks to liken himself in all things to the Son of God. As Jesus was the lion from the tribe of Judah, referring to Jacob's blessing on Judah in Genesis 49.9, Antichrist will be the lion from the tribe of Dan, referring to Moses' blessing on the tribe of Dan in Deuteronomy 33.22. Dan is a lion's club that leaps from Bashan, from On Christ and Antichrist, chapter 6. But this is all just very weak evidence in my mind. Nothing is jumping out to me that says this has to be the way it is. But what if the Antichrist isn't genetically from Dan, but simply was born in the region which the Golan Heights has today? The Golan Heights includes extreme northern Israel and southern Syria. Micah 5.5 5 refers to the Antichrist being from Assyria, and he, speaking of Jesus, will be their peace when the Assyrian comes into our land and treads on our palaces. Here the Antichrist refers to someone from the area of Assyria, maybe the Danite region of Assyria. That makes more sense as the Antichrist is referred to as the king of the north, and that region, of course, is north of Israel. So, is the Antichrist from Dan? Well, maybe, maybe not. But what if the Jews are looking for their Messiah to come from that tribe or region? It is still dangerous. Rabbi Ephraim Paladov, a teacher and author who covers Jewish subjects that are misunderstood or not normally discussed, here are his discussions. The work of Moshiach, and that means Messiah, is done in Israel building the third temple, the war of Gog and Magog. In this regard, the Messiah is usually identified with the tribe of Judah as per Jacob's blessings on his sons. Implicit in that blessing of Judah is that the dynastic monarchy will come through the tribe of Judah, personified by King David. The scepter shall not depart from Yehuda, nor the ruler's staff between his feet, so that tribute shall come to him and the homage of peoples be his. Rabbi Palanov points to the blessing of Dan as another more emphatic messianic prophecy. Dan shall be a serpent by the road, we've already seen this, a viper by the path that bites the horse's heels so that his rider is thrown backward. Genesis 49.17 In Dramatria, Hebrew numerology, snake, nakash, equals 359 which precisely equals the dramatry of the word Moshiach, or Messiah. (laughs) Wow, to me that is just dangerous stuff. Using something like dramatria in a way it's not indicated in the Bible to indicate a snake might be equal with Messiah. Rabbi Polanov goes on. In Kabbalistic sources, this is the meaning of Isaiah's description of the great final battle between the Nakash, Bariah, and the Nakash Akalatan, the straight serpent and the twisted serpent. He's quoting what he believes to be Isaiah 27, 1. The former is Mashiach, the later is the embodiment of evil that will be destroyed at the end of days. Actually, and this is Nelson speaking here again, both of these terms clearly refer to Leviathan in Isaiah 27, which is either Satan or the Antichrist, Again, this is a case of attributing Antichrist attributes to the Messiah. The Messiah they're waiting for. No wonder so many in Israel are going to be deceived if they're following rabbis like this guy. And as we indicated in the previous videos, prominent rabbis in Israel are claiming to already be speaking with the man they think is their Messiah. Some think it's Shlomo ben Yehuda. His family originally came from Syria, So this is possible that he has some tribe of Dan connections to him. 
Others think it's an unknown, yet to be revealed person. But either way, it's a false messiah. But that doesn't make him the Antichrist. The Bible states that in the beginning of the birth pangs period, many will come claiming to be the Messiah, Matthew 24, 4-5. So just because a person is announced as Messiah in Israel, it does not mean he is the Antichrist. The one who sits in the temple of God and declares himself to be God, uh, that is the Antichrist. But what is the latest news with this guy, Shlomo ben Yehuda, the famous Yanuka rabbi? Click right here to keep watching and discover what an Israeli Christian pastor knows and thinks about this rabbi and the claim that some make that he's the false messiah of Israel. Inside information from Israel, so to speak. Till then, this is Nelson, and I'll see you there.